Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to the 6 News Roundup. So we're up all the news frameworks at Siege over the last week or so and oh my god, it's been a busy week. We've had a full release of the mid-season patch, then we got the Halloween event, which is called Doctor's Curse, and it can actually be purchased the paid packs with Renowned. Really big surprise and of course a really good surprise. So that was awesome. And the actual game mode as well, I've been really, really enjoying it. I've seen a lot of people that are not enjoying it. They say it's like unbalanced and stuff, but I have just been having so much fun and uh, scary moments have definitely been in that experience. So I think they really pulled off the Halloween event very, very well. And this just makes me really excited for what they can do in the future. But not only that, in only a few years, we're going to have a lot of really good game modes that they could either bring out at certain points maybe we have like a, a revisit of old halloween events and stuff like that and we could have like two or three different events on at the same time i don't know how they you know how they'd work it but it's very cool that these events are getting actually really really interesting because one year ago it was all right but it was a pretty boring thing and it just seemed to be about the paid packs whereas now it actually seems to be about really good gameplay and enjoyable gameplay so I'm curious to see how it's going to develop in the future. Now, of course, we also got the patch notes for 3.3, which is the mid-season balancing. And it came with pretty much everything we'd seen before. We got the glass balancing, twitch balancing, the warden balancing. Now, be interested to hear what you guys think now that it's actually out. Have you tried out any of these changes? I've had quite a lot of commenters say that actually the wardens changed to a two armor has been a massive difference for them. And they've been enjoying warden far, far more. And it's amazing still to think that that three armor, for some reason, even though it's not exactly much slower and stuff like that, it is, you know, a real drag for every single operator out there that is three armor. And that's why more of them are becoming two armor. Now, we've also got Twitch with the 25 rounds in our gun. This one, to me, I always kind of thought this was quite timid, but I'm kind of curious to see how people have actually felt once they've actually seen that in game. And the glass one, where I thought, really, I can't see that making a difference. I'd be curious to see if there's any glass mains out there who have jumped back in, try to play glass again, and, and, you know, does it actually feel like it's really improved him? And also, I should mention about the Jackal rework. He will not be coming until the new season. I have mentioned that in previous videos, but some people were still surprised not to see him in the mid-season balancing patch. He will not come until at least the new season. However, on the subject of future changes, we also have confirmation that Blackbeard is again looked at for nerfs. Now, these might come with the next mid-season or they could come with the launch of the new season because Rogue Nine actually found out that he's kind of got an accidental buff in the last patch. So he's even more powerful really than he should be. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see him getting hit in the next season. And the other change is Nuke. Apparently, they're looking at changing her loadout. Now, we don't think that's going to be just secondary gadgets. I think that's going to be primary weapons. A lot of people have put forward the idea of giving her the MP7, and I could see that being a very good option. But what if they go further? What if they actually give her an assault rifle with a ACOG? You know, are they going to go that far? I feel like they're not wanting to add more and more ACOGs into the game. So I kind of feel like it'd probably still be an SMG, but who knows at this point what they're going to do to Nuke because she is not doing well and it'll be interesting to see what they come up with. We also got the surprise news that Ubisoft has actually delayed all of their games due to the bad performance of Breakpoint and The Division 2. Now, this is not a big surprise when it comes to just the performance of those two games because especially with Breakpoint, it released with a terrible launch. Abs they absolutely messed it up. If they hadn't gone on monetization, it probably would have launched okay or as, you know, at least as good as Wildlands did. Whereas I believe now it kind of feels like they've actually destroyed the Ghost Recon franchise and it might take like, I don't know, five, 10 years before they can come back with something completely new. They'll have to reinvent the whole thing, I think, to bring it back up. So delaying all their current games, so the Watch Dogs and everything, and of course, Rainbow Six Quarantine has also been delayed. Now, I don't think this is a bad thing because Quarantine looked, just from watching the CG trailer at the reveal, it kind of felt like there was nothing behind it. You know, it didn't feel like they had really developed a game yet. You know, it wasn't like after Outbreak, they were like, oh, let's make a game, and then they started right there. It feels like they kind of, you know, it took them a while to get going, and it feels like there just isn't really anything of substance there yet. So I think delay and quarantine is probably going to be a good idea. I think it'll still come out next year. That's my kind of guess, but it could easily get delayed further if they want to. Um, I think, though, that it really should come out before the next gen. 
out of consoles or otherwise I think they'll get in a bit of a trap if they don't have it before then. And then to end the video, I did an unboxing of some Rainbow Six Siege merch. I actually had some Ubisoft stuff sent over, which was for Doctor's Curse. So I unboxed that, which was really cool. And I also unboxed some really sweet as hell mugs and a really cool LED light as well. So if you want to check out the full unboxing, I will leave a link in the description below. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys next time.